All right, in the meantime, drivers around the tri-state and the country are wondering what impact the hurricane might just have on our gas pumps. Consumer reporter John Matteris is here with the latest on that, along with a warning about an eBay scam that could target you. John. Kristen, our gas prices were already high before Hurricane Michael roared into the Gulf of Mexico this week. Well, now come concerns it could tip our prices past the $3 mark. Oil companies have shut down several major oil rigs in the Gulf this week. While that impacts just a small amount of U.S. oil supplies, it's already pushing crude oil prices past the $75 mark. And GasBuddy.com says the average 291 gas price in our area could move even higher tomorrow or early next week. Also today, Sears announced it may file bankruptcy by this weekend. You know, the Tri-State's down to just one Sears store right now with the recent closing of Tri-County and closing sales at Northgate and Florence. But the future of the remaining stores is now up in the air with the company's announcement. It is considering filing Chapter 11 in the next few days. We have a warning to anyone who might be in the market for a used car soon. Many online car buyers like eBay because of all the protection it provides. But one young Avondale woman just learned it's no good if the eBay pages turn out to all be fake. Shauncee Colvin was hunting for a used car and found a great deal on Let Go, a selling app like Craigslist. It was a 2010 Nissan Maxima for a bargain, $1,500. I seen every part of the car. I seen the inside, I seen the front. Shauncee messaged the seller who explained she was in the military and was about to be deployed. The woman needed to sell the car quickly at a low price. She said that she was actually going to go on training for um, her medical team for about a year. The seller said it would be sold through eBay Motors for safety and that Shauncee needed to send a $500 deposit on eBay gift cards. Put $200 on one, I put $200 on another one, and then I put $100 on one. But that was the last she heard from the seller. It was all a scam. In case you're wondering how people keep falling for these car selling scams, oh, it is very easy. You see, the seller will be contacting you from an eBay Motors email address, making it look like you are dealing with eBay. I said, okay, it's eBay. eBay kind of is a secure site. eBay told us the transaction appears to be a scam. Unfortunately, scam artists will list items for sale on non-eBay trading sites and promise eBay's protection as a means of completing the scam. He said to protect yourself, do not pay via gift cards or Western Union and be suspicious of any car or truck you can't see in person. I thought she trusted me. I trusted her. But that trust has now cost Shauncee $500. That's yeah, tough. We've asked eBay to look into Sean C's case and see if there's any chance she can recover some of the money stolen by the scammer. As for the car, by the way, the pictures of it were stolen from a legitimate listing at a much higher price. Finally, it's You Win Wednesday and Sam's Clubs are offering free health screenings this Saturday, October 13th, including blood pressure, cholesterol checks and more. Best of all, you don't need to be a Sam's member this Saturday to get that so you don't waste your money. Kristen.